Let's continue our work now with the related rates question dealing with balloon inflation, which of course is a sphere or 3D circle. So in this question, we are going to take a look at a similar question to our last one. So our last question had to do with a 2D circle, which was um, ripples in a pond. This is a 3D circle, also known as a sphere or a balloon. And so just as we did last time, and notice I haven't drawn a picture, you don't need to draw the picture, especially for circles, uh, because there's really just one value, which is the radius. Um, what we're going to have is we're going to have a set of static values, which just like last time will be at a moment in time or a formula. And then we'll have a set of variable values, not variable as in x, y, but as in they are changing, which is typically a rate or a derivative. So let's read through this question and write down what we find as we go. A balloon is inflating at 4.5 cubic inches per minute. So this is a rate. And what is it a rate of? It is the rate of change of the volume of the balloon. So it's not specifically saying volume, but we know it's cubic inches per minute, which is a volume measure. So that means the change in volume, dv, with respect to time is 4.5 cubic inches per minute. Now remember that every time we have something on the variable side, we'll have something that relates to it on the static side. So we're, this one is dv over dt, so that's going to be v something, and we'll come back to that at the end. Okay, so now continue reading. It says find the rate of change of the radius. So the rate of change of the radius says we're trying to find dr over dt. That's the question mark. That's our unknown. So I'm going to box that off just so we remember that's the goal which means I'm going to have R equals over here. Let's continue reading. When the radius is two inches. So two inches goes right here. And now I'm almost done with the first part, which is of course just information gathering. From here, I need to think about what would V be? Now remember the static side is typically a measurement at a moment in time, like radius is two inches or a formula. So what's the formula for the volume of a sphere? Well, it is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Again, if you don't know the formulas, I believe there's an insert in the back of your textbook or, you know, Google it. So from here, just as we did last time, we're going to find the derivative with respect to time which means I'm going to take that formula, V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed with respect to time. So we're going to find the derivative of that function. The derivative of the function with respect to time would give me dV over dt. So the derivative of volume, because the derivative of V is just one, and then the derivative of V, which we don't know, so it's dV over dt. 4 thirds pi r cubed would be 4 thirds and then 3 pi r squared. And then of course the derivative of r with respect to time. So now let's see what we can simplify. dv over dt is 4.5 cubic inches per minute. You don't have to write the labels in your work. Obviously you need to label at the end, but it's okay to not write it in your work. Um, what else do I have? Four thirds and three obviously is going to reduce to four. So I have four pi and then do I have r? Well, I sure do. I have r is two inches. So two squared and then dr over dt as we know is my unknown. So dr over dt is what I'm going to end up solving for. So let's simplify a little bit more. On the left, I have 4.5. On the right, I have 4 times pi times 2 squared. Remember to square first, so 2 squared first, which is 4, and then times the 4 pi is 16 pi. 
and then dr over dt, which of course is what I'm solving for. And so I end up with 4.5 divided by 16 pi is dr over dt. And in this case, because it's not going to be a whole number answer, um, I'm going to just go ahead and find it as a decimal. And using a calculator, I find that dr over dt is approximately 0 0.09 inches per minute. So that is my final answer. And again, you might be asking, well, how do I know what the rate, I'm sorry, what the label should be? What am I measuring in? So again, we're looking here at inches. And so the change of the radius would be inches per minute. Um, you can also take the context here of cubic inches per minute. And of course, the radius is a one dimensional measurement. So of course, it shouldn't be inches squared, which would be an area. Inches cubed would be a volume. Straight up inches is just a measurement. Moving on from circles, we're going to take a look next at related rates with triangles. So that could be solving using the Pythagorean theorem or using a trig function.